Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and those Dynamics guys. Today I am going to talk to you about how to get images into your Power Apps and also how to create your own images. Um, this is going to be done on a kind of sliding scale of difficulty uh, using firstly the snipping tool, secondly PowerPoint and thirdly Krita. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the snipping tool. So we are just going to jump onto Google here, move on to a new screen, just do a little search for some flowers, and then look at the images, jump in here. Now obviously I can just do um, save image as if I want to, but sometimes that doesn't always work. Oh, actually it does, but um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't always work uh, for certain images. Uh, you end up getting stock photos and so on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go on to the snipping tool. I'm just going to bomb out of there. Go on to here, type snipping at the bottom and you should find that you've got that, it's one of these out of the box Windows uh, tools. So if I go new on that, all I do is I snip and then do file, oops, save as, and I'm just going to do, um, uh, I'm going to do uh, flowers um, and press save on that. I'm just going to grab this URL here. Uh, save on that. Uh, then I'm going to move on to uh, an app that I've been uh, fiddling around with recently. Uh, definitely not appropriate for flowers anyway, but uh, here we go. So if I go to File, then Media, and then Images, and then I go Browse, and then I go and paste in my URL here. I can grab my flowers, open, and in they pop. And all I have to do is go on to here, uh, do insert media image, and over it goes, and then pop it in there, and then do uh, just write flowers. Good, and they're in. So that's easy enough, that's one thing. Um, secondly, um, we're going to move on the difficulty ever so slightly. Um, so I'm going to do, uh, I'm on. PowerPoint here, so I'm going to go file. Oops. I'm going to go new insert, new slide, and I'm going to go blank. Um, depends on what you want to do here. You can put the background, you can change the background color, which is sometimes good. Um, so if you want to put the background, oops, yeah, background solid fill color. So you can do different background colors if that's if that's something that you'd like. Um, maybe we'll just do something like a bit you know go for this color here and you can do a gradient fill and all these different weird and wonderful things and at that point you can move up to the draw option here and then you've got the pen so you can do something along the lines of this is not going to be very good by the way um so maybe you've got so, oops that didn't work and uh, hit down there change my color that's good and then i can kind of go onto here and I can do my, um, this is going to be terrible actually. Anyway, the idea is I'm going to change the thickness actually. I'm going to make sure I'm going to go up on the thickness and maybe I'll do some red flowers here. So, uh, really not putting much effort in here. This is terrible. And, okay, well, let's put a bit more effort in. Let's put some yellow in. We're going to go here. To be fair on this, the um, the level of control that you've got in PowerPoint is a bit on the old limited side, um, and then away you go. So, and at that point, I'm quite happy to just go onto the snipping tool, go new snip, um, uh, and then grab that, do that, file, oops, file, save as, uh, and then we're going to go flowers, PPT. So in they go, over to your Power App, uh, File, Media, over to Browse, and we should have that in there, Open, and in it pops. And then if we go on to here, and we do Media Image, uh, and we just type in Flowers PPT, in it pops, there's my flowers. Wonderful. This is so appropriate, isn't it? Um, and... So finally, um, we're going to move on to something. We're going to move up the 
uh, kind of complexity if you like so if you look on this what you'll find is obviously the images actually cross over each other which is not well it's not very good at all really depends on what you're trying to do but it's generally not um, not ideal from my perspective um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now move on to looking at uh, a piece of software called Krita so what I'm going to do is you can go this is a free to download piece of software people can do you know absolutely fantastic images but I'm just going to show you how I make use of Krita um, so obviously you've got to do all the usual install bits and pieces uh, and so once I'm there I'll just type in Krita um, I'm going to fire the app uh, so the um, the fire this up. I'm just sort of doing a quite a quick pause. It does actually take a a, a minute or so to load up. So, uh, but the idea with this is that we're going to create a PNG file. Now, the difference between a PNG file and and a JPEG is is we can actually have it so that there's no background. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do file uh, new. That's good. Um, and I am going to do, um, let's just say it was something like an icon, and maybe you just want to do 500 by 500. You wanted to make it absolutely square. And you then said create. Um, not sure what it's up to. But. It's obviously not a problem. So um, now the piece on the right, the piece over here on the right hand side is um, is quite important because what you do is you click on the different parts of the screen um, and you get different colors. So you've got a really it's got a it's a really great tool for actually, um, you know, getting the exact color that you need. And then once you're in there, you kind of you click on the, the 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 tone that you actually require. So maybe that's the tone that I need on the, in this case. Um, and then you have to move down here to get onto one of these items. And over here, make sure that you are on the the brush um, piece here, and the size of the brush is defined in this area. So we've got our green color. So let's just see what we can do here. Okay, not that, that. Okay, there's my flowers, and then I'm going to do my red color. Oh, it's not really red. I'm going to move down here on the red, so I'm going to do some really bright flowers here. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to come out, but let's just see. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. We'll go with that. You can sort of see already that I've got a bit more control. In fact, the pen pen response seems to be a bit better on this. Uh, and then I'm going to go with a bit of yellow in on the inside there. And there and there. That's wonderful. And do you know what? I'm going to go for a little bit of black. I don't quite know why. Well, let's just see if this works anyway. Um, I'm going to go for a darker, darker red. How about that? So I probably should have chosen... Um, something there um so oops i'm gonna go with a slightly smaller uh screen there okay let's see what this thing's doing it always seems to not quite do the the same what i should be doing here is that there's a kind of fill option um i think it's this one here okay let's see what happens there oh, there we are old crumbs that wouldn't work um undo the icons for some reason it could be my screen but absolutely minute um, so I'm just going to pop those little bits of fill in there. Um, oh crumbs! Yeah, obviously the um, the fill goes all the way all the way um, all the way round. So obviously tracks all the way down here and then fills everything. Uh, and then that bit there, I'm just going to go with my red again. Um, so into here with my red. Oh, oh, I'm on the fill thing again. Undo. Undo, undo. Okay. Um, yeah, but I guess you you get kind of get the idea. But the uh, the, the 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 magic bit now is that we're going to do. Um, we could we could actually make this image the canvas a bit smaller. But I'm just going to you know finish this off. So at this point, you do file and you do export. It's not save because you'd be saving them. Uh, you know a Krita file and what you need to do is you have to save it as a PNG image uh, and then you need to then just call it uh, flowers 
creature. And we go save on that. Um, I'm just going to say OK on this. And here we go. So we've got our we've got our flowers in a PNG. Uh, I'll see if I can remember where it actually is. And we go to Minesweep and we go um, File Media Images Browse. I bet it's not in here. Totally isn't. Um, so I'll go back onto Creator File um, Export. Grab that up there. Cancel that. Over to um, yeah, over to the app, browse on there, and then paste my link there, and then just do my date modifier, there, my flower creator, and in it comes uh, down at the bottom. Now the difference between this one here is I'm going to do insert media image, and this time round we're going to do flowers creator. Um, and this time you can actually see, let's just make this a bit, pump this little fella up. You can see that it actually sits over um, everything. And that is a far, far preferable, uh, more preferable situation. So I could, actually I could, I could almost make a little kind of garden worth of these things. Um, because I know that they, would, they wouldn't sort of uh, cross over each other in the way that um, the other images would. It's actually kind of nice totally inappropriate for this um, uh, this use but there you go you can sort of see that you can actually you know leverage those images in a, in a far better way um, and then I guess um, just for a bit of fun if we have a look at this game and this is how I used it in the game was that this is my uh, minesweeper game and uh, I can sort of hopefully this I won't die because you, you can be a bit unlucky on these things um, okay one one um yeah so i can actually if i actually thought that there was a mine in that area i could hit my drop down actually it's like that and then i can flag the area for a mine and that is a piece of art that i did in creta recently so let me just see if i can find it i go file um close it'll probably don't save it file open recent um and then we'll go bomb flagged and you'll be able to see the 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 this is just a very simple um, circle with a bit of black on the end and so on. And how cool does it look once you get it into um, Power Apps, wherever it is. Um, yeah, Power Apps down there. I and mean, that just looks amazing. So I can click, you know, in the different areas and obviously get a very consistent image. Um, so there you go. And if I kind of carry it on, that'll, it'll sort of boom and, and so on. So if I kind of keep going... Oh crumbs! I shouldn't be. <laughs> That's not how to play this game. Um, so if I just kind of go here, eventually I'm going to get an explosion. So there you go. This is a little boom thing going on there. But had I actually um, had it had it been a flagged item, um, then it would have looked quite neat. I'm not sure if it's going to allow me to do this now. Never mind. Never mind. I think it's because the game's over, so it's um, a little bit upset with me. Anyway, so there you go. Um, that was. Let's just uh, do a quick time check on that. Um, I guess it's probably about um, six or seven minutes, but hopefully you've learnt a few things along the way. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Bye.